Hi, welcome back. Now we're going to study a little bit more about the table of derivatives. And so what we're going to see is a few functions and their derivatives next to them. What you have to do is simply memorize these um, derivatives and their uh, relationships that they have with the functions. Um, of course, you can always work on the demonstration of why the derivative of a certain function is uh, for instance, if we have k prime, then the derivative of zero. If we have uh, kx prime, then the derivative of that is k, and so on. You can demonstrate that by using the definition of a, of a derivative. Um, but sure, it's going to give you a little bit of practice, and that's good. At the end of the day, you want to work on your brain on memorizing each one of these derivatives, because they're going to be key to every single function that you're going to be working on on calculus, right? And remember that whether if you have a product, a division, a uh, composition function, maybe even a chain rule, you're always, always, always going to end up having something that is key or has some sort of relationship with these derivatives, okay? So let's go and uh, take a look at them one by one. K, as you may have imagined, N and A are real numbers, okay? They're constants. The derivative of k is zero. Remember that k is a constant function, right? It's a horizontal straight line parallel to the x-axis. The derivative of k times x is k, okay? Remember that a function that has the appearance of kx is a straight line, only that it has a slope, okay? So the slope is going to be the degree of the steepness of how linear the function is. The derivative of x, the identity function, is 1 because the slope of y equals x is 1. The derivative of x ti uh, k times x power to n is going to be k times n, x power to n minus 1. You reduce n1 to the degree of the variable. It doesn't matter what degree what do we have over there. It can be a n error number. It can be a real number. Okay. Here we have the trigonometric derivatives. Sine derivative is cos. Cos, derivative, minus. Tangent, derivative, sec squared. Cotangent, derivative, cos x squared. Sec, derivative, sec times tangent. Cosec derivative, minus cosec, cotangent. Look that there is a very nice relationship between the normal trigonometric and the cos trigonometric. Okay? Sine, cosine. Cosine minus sine. Okay? Tangent sec squared. Cotangent minus cosec squared, which is the opposite, sort of the opposite of sec. Sec, sec times tangent, cosec minus cosec cotangent. So it's pretty easy to memorize these functions. And then finally we have the exponential and logarithmic functions. Derivative of e x z x. It's the only function in math whose derivative is itself uh, logarithmic. Derivative is one over x, the inverse function, and then of course the general function, the exponential function. A x derivative is going to be a over x logarithmic of a. As I said, k n and a are real numbers. Doesn't matter what they are. It can be pi. It can be two minus three minus ten. Can so what you want to do is memorize these derivatives. Memorize this table, right? Cite them when you're in your car. Cite them when you're cooking. Cite them when you're walking, when you're running on the treadmill. And you're going to see that in less than a couple of days, you'll have them right in your head. Of course, practice. And let's do a couple of exercises regarding the table.